is Myri Lane from the Buying Space Channel. I'm reading from the Torah. The uh, Hebrew is on this side. The English translation directly from the Hebrew is on this side. Hebrew is the way it read this way. The pages in the Torah go this way. So you turn this way as you read. Exodus chapter 1 verse 1. Now those were the names of the children of Israel that came unto Egypt with Jacob. Every man in his household they came, Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Ishkar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Nepali, Gad, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were seventy souls gathered with Joseph, who also who was already in Egypt. And Joseph died, and his brothers, and all the generation. And the children of Israel fulfilled and increased abundantly, and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mightily. And the land was filled with them. Now there rose up a new king over Egypt, who was not, who knew not Joseph. Remember, Joseph was second in command. In Egypt next to Pharaoh and then his, Joseph died and then the Pharaoh or the king that knew Joseph also passed away and he said unto his people behold the people of children of Israel were more numerous and mightier than we come let us deal wisely with them lest they multiply and come it come to pass that, that when they were happened to be a war they join unto our enemies and fight against us and de depart out of the land so God had blessed the children of Israel and their children in the twelve tribes to the point they were outnumbering the Egyptians and the new Pharaoh who didn't know Joseph that didn't have that personal relationship uh, with the Israelites he became paranoid about them outgrowing them which they had already done and taking up with one of their enemies or even the maybe the they themselves taking up arms against the Egyptians so he started to take measures to make sure that that didn't happen and that's when we go into the story of the midwives and I may read Exodus later but it was my intent to stop reading from the Torah in Genesis I may get to reading Exodus and not be able to quit the Bible is so interesting and uh, this story of the midwives is not known so I'll probably go ahead and read that <laughs> But then I'm going to say, oh, no, I'm not going to read anymore, but I might end up reading more. So we'll see how far into the Pentateuch or the Torah that I read. But my intention was to stop at Genesis. And here I am reading Exodus just to finish up uh, what happened with Jacob. So anyway, have a wonderful and blessed day and tune in next weekend to see if I continue to read on. <laughs>